Okay, so long story short, Shmirko decided that when he re-upload the Ultimate Link monster as well as versus Shadow Lord, he'd add new post-credit scenes to the videos. Which makes sense, you know, I gotta push those new products and all that stuff. And if you're gonna be re-uploading, might as well take advantage of that situation. So yeah, we're just gonna react to the post-credit scenes in today in a sort of breakdown, but probably mostly reaction format for this one. But we'll see what happens, you know? Anyway, let's just get right into it as soon as I, this thing wants to work with me. Miracle technology. Come on. There we go. Yeah. And go. Nice shot. That's it. <laughs> oh, he's a monster. Going with the, uh, oh, going in the with the CGI pretty well. That's is your aufgabe. Mixing it. Eine falsche Words aren't bad for me. Alles. One wrong move and we're all doomed. This is no pressure. For the zukunft. For ihre zukunft. Well, he's a time traveler, so he would know about the future to some extent. I wonder if he was holding his hands is really important. The Secret Real Life Corporation. Yep, two, three, four. Okay. Just seeing if there's anything more to this. Yeah, thank you for watching. And you, you do the whole pro YouTube stuff, whatever. It's fine. I don't mind if Shmirko does it, you know? He's, yeah, we like him, so we'll give him a pass. Okay, so not much really with this trailer. It's just like, you know, the fate of the war is in your hands, Shmirko. Don't fuck up or we're all dead. Also, he's holding some interesting item in his hand, which I guess whatever this corporation is, is going to be interested in too. Divest, uh, you know, interested in getting. Kind of hard to tell what the thing could be. It looks almost like a seashell. It's from necklace, maybe. And maybe this is from Danielle's wife, considering this is still in the RLDS universe, after all. RLDS movie series. You know what I mean. Um... So it's important to his future, so maybe it's for MacGuffin. Again, like a corp maybe this is how he time travels in a way. Like it's a, like a pocket watch or like a key to some time machine or something that lets him go anywhere. And uh, without it, he can't, well, go anywhere. And so that's how it's important. I think that one sounds like the most important. It's some MacGuffin thing that lets him time travel, and that's where the corporation are after because. If it's a device that can let you time travel, why wouldn't you want it? I mean, the corporation is going after Shmirko's uh, time travel thing. Like, really, is going after eat. You know, um, I do think they would be interested in going more of a business sort of a, a you know route because you know it's we go a lot of like supernatural stuff like ghosts and shadow lords and all that stuff in the uh, in Shmirko's universe. Don't have a lot of even one guy that turned into a dual monster. Don't got a lot of like. Yo, hello, evil corporation, like Big Five style, which, you know, it's Yu-Gi-Oh, so you want to try to be more interesting with, like, ghosts and stuff like that, but, you know, sometimes the scariest thing is the most realistic or something, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, just a sneak peek of what's to come and something you can theorize over. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, that I think that uh, that's apparently going to be so, uh, yeah. Sorry, my words are all over the place. But okay, that's the one for Ultimate Link Monster Out. I mean, I guess the other one might be for something else, maybe. Or maybe it'll also be the Secret Real Life Corporation. We'll find in a minute. Let me just cut to uh, versus Shadow Lord. Alright, now here we are at the Shadow Lord one. I've uh, accidentally already seen the, um, you know, the one I was setting up for Link Wars because I thought that was the first credit scene. And then it's like, oh wait, no, this is the wrong. Whoops. <laughs> Accidents happen, but you know. Uh, not going to waste your time with that, so let's get right into it with the proper you know, um, post credit scene. And go. Oh. Spooky imagery. Ooh. I gung near. I sure do like this Maleka Truth Dragon, huh?
Let's avoid that at all costs. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're gonna head right for it. Ooh. Yu-Gi-Oh! FD. Ghost ship. Let's go out. That's... 2025, probably. Hopefully. Bog was right. Fingers crossed. And thank you for watching. It just... Is he still going to have me be careful? I'd never let myself let myself live down that whole mistake. But yeah, just uh, to reload the thing. Not going to rewatch the whole movie, but just going to... Um, a lot of interesting things here. Uh, uh, sorry, wrong one. I guess Gungnir, as I'm just going to call him, because I don't have a name for him, I could call him Sinyu, but not the same character as the thing. Um, has been having visions of what's going to be happening on the ghost ship, I get. I keep throwing the wrong one. They just thinking that things are going to go wrong, you know? Uh, which I don't blame them. I mean, it's a ghost ship. It's, things don't look good. It's kind of like some sort of force here, some place sometimes. Um, just a bunch of horrid standalone stories. I feel like I remember them off the top of my head, but one of them is a ghost ship, interestingly enough. So, you know, it's there's a bit of crossroads. I think the first one was a ghost ship. I can't remember if I remember. Remember, I'll probably put it in post, and if I don't, then frick it. I don't know, ask in the comments or something, and I'll look up. I think one of them was like the Medallion of Metal or something like that. It's along those lines. Uh, but yeah, uh, he's been getting visions of stuff that's going to be happening during the go the the events of the ghost ship. He's probably going to be like that guy who's like. So Smirk will probably come up to him and be like, "Yo, dude, uh, I want to go check. Heard about this ghost ship list? I just want to go check it out. But I'd like some company. Would you like to come with?" And Gungnir just be like, "Um, I it's a funny story. I've actually been having dreams about this place, and I think that's an awful idea, and we should avoid it at all costs." Nah, come on, man. <laughs> Have you seen me? I'm Smirko. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't know, man. <laughs> and we'll probably have that moment of Smirko being like, "Okay." We got through there alive barely, but I really should have listened to you. My bad. <laughs> I am in the wrong. Uh, I'm trying to freeze frame because I don't have a pause button at the moment. My, uh, laptop, my laptop keyboard decided to crack the bed. Move up technology, right? To find out the lessons and all that crap. That was interesting. Gosh darn it, I'm pausing every six seconds and then I just let it slide and it go and then it shows up. Go figure. That's good. Da! It's one frame too many. Trying to get it perfectly. There we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's not a gun. <laughs> this is probably going to be the big bad. Kind of reminds me of that mask that that one RLDS guy that used Colossal Fire played. It's a similar mode, I imagine. But just like, yeah, I think this is going to be our big bad for the ghost ship. Just because, well, look at it. <laughs> How could you not think that? Maybe it'll be more like, I'm not evil, I'm just misunderstood. You're a ghost, fuck off. No, <laughs> we're not playing this game. Who knows, uh, given the fact that um, Sinew is, uh, well, Gungnir is seen activating a dual disc here, it's possible that maybe he's, um, maybe Schmerker gets kidnapped or something and Gungnir has to, like, you know, fight, at, fight to get him back or something, you know? Or maybe, um, he has, he smelled the rat in the first place and he just, or he's just, and he's just showing up be like, don't worry, I brought my tool just, just in case, because as we all know, in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh, look out, there's a chance we might get mugged on a ghost ship. Don't worry, I brought my tool disc, so at least before we die, we can have a card game. Only in this universe, right? 
I mean, at least the Pokemon universe are Pokemon or weapons. <laughs> These are trading cards, man. But yeah, my, my what I can gather based off of the information we have so far is... Okay, so this is my prediction as to how the movie's gonna go. Just based on what we have. I could be wrong, of course, but this is basically my prediction. So Shmirko learns about this legend of a ghost ship that's abandoned and decides to go and check it out. With a, But he wants to bring a friend along because, well, why not? Gungnir here has been having dreams about uh, this ghost ship though and thinks this is a terrible, awful idea that we should definitely not do. So of course we do it. Uh, because, uh, Shmir mostly because Gungnir goes along and be like, I'm not going to be able to talk you out of going to this place, so it's better if we're both going there because rather than just letting you go there alone. You know, Shmir could just... I just seems that way, just like, hey, look, I'm not talking you out of this one, clearly, so let's just go together. And then, like, they go and explore the ghost ship as seen and stuff, and then maybe they come across a thing they should not in that skull thing that I'm not going to try to go for again. And, um, yeah. Everything goes to crap, and, and uh, I guess Shmirko will get knocked out or kidnapped or something, and it'll be up to Gungnir to save the day. This is what I'm theorizing could be the fact that maybe Gungnir comes across, maybe they get split up somehow while exploring, and Gungnir is the one that uh, meets up with the uh, deep face skull mask guy that should not be mentioned, or, you know, it should not be found, and he duels at him and loses, and then Shmirko's like, give me back my friend, I made a terrible mistake, look what I've done, I should have listened to you, Gungnir. Oh, I, I need to make up for my mistake. Duel! And yeah, then... They win, like, barely. It's a very close call, but, you know, they manage to pull through. And then they're like, leave, and the entire boat blows up because it's a movie. And we and just accept the kind of Hollywood logic, you know? It's like how car, it's like how whenever a car is dripping gasoline, the car is going to explode in a second. It's like, I don't think that's how that... Where'd the match come from? Don't worry about that. <laughs> ay hey, ay. But yeah, the, they'll survive, but barely, and the ship will blow up, and, you know, the ghost will go somewhere or something, I don't know, it'll rest in peace or something. And then, in the uh, end of the movie, we'll just be freaking Smirko being, or maybe it'll be like Smirko and Gugnir looking on in awe of what they witnessed. Or it'll be, be like uh, Smirko being like, hey, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I should listen to you more often, or something like that. Can I still hope that you will help me in a time of need? Ah, you know, man, I've always got your back. <clears throat> and then they, and that's how they set up for the, like, and it's just to set up for the final, um, Shmirko movie, in which Gungner will return, probably. That's just my theory about how this is gonna work anyway. I could be completely wrong, and again, these are all just like, you know, psychic visions that actually don't have a part of the movie. It's just, I keep going to let help, damn it. <coughs> but yeah, the, flat, the visions could be unrelated and just being like Shmirko showing off more stuff. Because you can do that and this is a pretty good uh, way to do so. So, yeah. This is the said ghost ship. Well, the last one was the said the secret um, organization thing of a fudger. So they got different movies, but that's interesting. Because the secret uh, organization thing is definitely not going to be a 2024 production of the this isn't even a 2024 production, it's 2025. But, you know, take your time to watch this. <sighs> I imagine we will get one more update before the year ends, just so that Shmirko makes sure it stays in everyone's minds. And I might just be like, I've not abandoned this project, just to be clear, you know? I, I, I don't know what he'd tell us, maybe just general stuff, like maybe how far the process is or something like that, but... I would imagine that Shmirko would give just one more update before this is before he releases the first of many. Like FD Ghost Ship and the other one. Oh wait, FD is Ghost Ship. Uh, the secret real life organization and the third one. The fi probably the final Shmirko movie. But yeah. These are interesting projects. I'm looking forward to what's to come. 
I didn't mention this in the first one, but I did like the blend of how you were standing in the um, castle thing, even though you clearly weren't, but you know, it's fine. It's a good mixing. And uh, the ghost ship looks like it's gonna be a fun time. And we're gonna see Gungner again, you know? See a bit more of him. He's moving up in the world. It's always good to see the, the smaller YouTubers get a little push. You know? Yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see what'll come of it. And uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to what's to come, Shmirko, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!